As the Nevada caucus approaches, the Nevada Democratic Party has slowly been releasing information on the iPad tool they're developing and planning to use on caucus day. The state party scrapped plans to use the app built by Shadow Inc. after the app failed during the Iowa caucus, delaying the results there and sowing doubt over the process. And though the Nevada Democrats insist that the tool they're building is not an app, voters here are still concerned that the technology will create another disaster similar to Iowa. Seth Morrison is a volunteer site leader who will be running a caucus at a Las Vegas high school. I'm still feeling nervous. I'm feeling better than I did yesterday. Uh, because at least I've seen some screenshots of the tool. Trust me, after what happened in Iowa, they have been working around the clock to make sure that it, it works. I'm not worried at all that it'll work at scale. Here's what we know about the tool so far. It's basically a calculator where caucus volunteers input information into a series of Google Forms. On caucus day, site leaders will log into their iPads with their precinct number and special passphrase. The iPads have early voting data preloaded onto them. Volunteers then enter the in-person caucus data from the first alignment into the calculator. By hitting the next button, in-person data is added with early voting data to produce results determining each candidate's viability. This happens again in what's called the final alignment, where any participant whose candidate wasn't viable can switch to another candidate. And if an early voter's first choice isn't viable, their second choice receives their vote. Once the final alignment is complete, delegates are awarded. With the results from the final alignment entered into the caucus calculator, it runs the equation to determine how many delegates each candidate received. The iPad tool then transmits the results to the Nevada Democratic Party headquarters as unofficial results. According to volunteers, this could all be done without the use of an iPad. And it will be. Caucus volunteers are required to record everything being entered into the iPad caucus calculator on a caucus math poster that will be hanging in every room on caucus day, as well as on a caucus reporting sheet. Once the caucus is complete, someone from each candidate group signs off on the results. Since ditching the Shadow app and announcing they were developing their own tool, the Nevada Democratic Party has been tight-lipped about who the developer is, simply saying that they have consulted with the Democratic National Committee, the Department of Homeland Security, and Google. Pretty much the only thing they told us was, trust us, and if we told you too much, we'd be hacked. And, you know, they, they really generated this distrust because we kept going to meetings and they kept inviting us to meetings and then not telling us anything. And so naturally people raised concerns and raised questions. Days before the caucus, the party has begun to offer in-person hands-on training with the tool for volunteers easing some concerns. I was uh, very nervous after Iowa. I worked for the state party here in 2018. So as soon as things went kind of south in Iowa, I was like, okay, whatever you need, I will help you. There are still points in the process that are unclear, such as how the early votes are loaded onto the iPads. There's a lot of points of failure. There's all the software things that are creating distrust. So I'm still anticipating a hard day on Saturday. 